damage. Uh, very, very good item selection against those lineups. It's a very useful item. Oh, here we go. There you go. Counter initiated by the insane jump in from Jonas and Fun. Also catches the era that no one just turns trying to counterplay. There's always one to fight. Oh, we'll get rid of the Aegis. The era still healthy here, though. He wants to go for round two. Four dead with the A. Just make it five. Nice second life, Io. I don't need it. That's wow. what you get for Jack in my Aegis. Your carry Lina just solo pushing the bottom lane. Now they doom lift. They stampede him back. They have to relocate a pale It's already used, but he's so damn fast that he got back to the exact same location. And now the Winter Wyvern curse comes through Bunnik, chasing through the tree line. They dunk on the arrow. Arrow's gonna go down. Limp course back. Didn't even manage to get off the chemical raid, but the IO heal keeps him alive. The IO will now relocate back forward into the waiting arms of Seneco. Oh, the Wyvern. Nope. Seneco gets blasted again. He TP'd home for this. Or rather, to the tier two, I should say. Here, but they're gonna look to hold this. NIP trying to turn, they jump on Funic, BKB's available. He does not get it off just yet. Now that Necroposal comes through, but he's healed up by the Code of BKB, Scorched Earth now, Funic turns, he even tries to toss out a level death on the way forward. NIP in a lot of trouble now. They've committed pretty much everything. The Necropose nearly dropping to the Spears, he may go down, they just wear off now. As Hanske runs into Yara ever so low, but again kept alive by always wanna play his defensive play. And now, Kenny raids down the pave. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Triple kill off the bat. Seal kid could be an ultra Dendi wants it. He's diving for it. He's paused. Uh, he's not gonna get it. But Sadeko turns on the lift now. Yule Scepter available. They can commit for lift if they'd like lightning bolt. Yule's is a creep. Alright. Well, a little bit of an intimidation Yule's there. Just saying we don't even need to kill you. We'll get you later. <laughs> Alright, BKB out says, I'll do it. He runs in, tries to fight. He does get a lot of damage out on Funic off the bat. Good physical right clicks there. Lena, meanwhile, chunking Jonas and Fonlo, but now we get the Aegis. And Dayara leaps forward, always going to fly again. The Cold of Grace saving lives. They got him finished. He's low HP heroes. Arrow running all through the middle of the Navi squad, but now for a he will go down. And the Doomed Limp, unable to really engage. He tries to hang on, but his health drops quickly. Limp will go down to a two hero stun. The wipeout from Suneko is four fall, and they're not done yet. They want Jonas and Fon. Slaving, uh, just barely failing. The flame licking at his heels. So Jonas and Fun will be the one man that gets away. So they hang the air off for now. They may just sacrifice Dendi for the greater good. Yep, the, the sacrifice. Oh, he's What's sacrificing those? himself. Yeah, the era though. May die twice. They got a lot of stuns here. No eggs yet on Era, unfortunately, but so can They should be able to take this fight, though. Yeah. Will they? Will they? Outstun the cooldown, so they go to position. The sun comes through, and the Wyvern's gonna engage to keep the Era alive. If need be, the PKB Alchemist goes to work. The Era, Cold Embrace again. Always one of those the huge Cold Embraces. Completely changing the course of these fights, making this the Huskar just such a pain in the rear to build, and they kill, and they just can't do it. It's four down. Dendi, right back in the fray, right back for three more Bloodstone charges. And GG, Navi, stop out NIP here at game one. My god, that felt like the old Navi.